Hello, my name is David Cronister. I am currently a Instructional Design and Technology graduate student at Emporia State University. I work as an Instructional Designer for KU in the Lifespan Institute Department. I have a background in graphic design, multimedia design, web design, and video production. Now the quote just mentioned at the very beginning of this presentation are difficult words to hear. High school students and their families are not prepared for the realities of college preparation. The project presented today is an opportunity to understand how outside resources can help in urban school districts prepare students for the ACT. Although this project alone will not solve the problem of preparing for the ACT completely, it will greatly help those students in need of preparation for the test. In the high school environment, many students find it difficult to find college preparation information. Counselors do provide students with such information. Unfortunately, too often the counselors leave it up to the students to prepare themselves for the ACT. In many situations, at-risk students are the first among their family to consider higher education as an option. At-risk students have a limited idea of what the ACT is, why they need to take it, and how they should prepare for the test. Although there are free resources for ACT preparation, most are hard to find and many are out of date. The Topeka Public School District is no exception to this issue. USD 501 has had to downsize staff and resources in recent years, including counselors. The district has relied on outside organizations to help in providing college access to their students for years. For example, Kansas Kids at Gear Up works specifically with at-risk students at the high schools in the district. I was a college access mentor for two years for Kansas Kids at Gear Up, where I worked with Topeka High School students. During that time, I noticed that there was no official ACT preparation workshop at the school. Although Gear Up provided an hour workshop for the students taking the ACT, that was not nearly enough information to fully understand the scope of the ACT. Analyzation. I analyzed this issue and interviewed Topeka High students and faculty about the problem. The biggest issue for students was time, as most of the workshops and tutoring were done after school. Some students had sports practice, while others had difficulty scheduling transportation. Faculty and administration were enthusiastic about the idea of a more in-depth ACT preparation workshop, although most had difficulties finding the time or the space to do it. Time appeared to be the number one issue for everyone. The solution? An asynchronous online ACT preparation course. This solves the problem with time, finding a room, and cost of materials. Design. The overall goal of this course is to prepare at-risk students for the ACT. By better understanding the ACT, it will boost students' confidence levels, as well as reduce test anxiety. After the course is complete, students should be able to understand the general format of the ACT, get an idea of the questions that might appear on the test, learn some helpful tips, and find sources that will further their preparation. This course can be set up for a classroom environment or asynchronous learning environment. This course is set up to use correspondence through email. Students will send assignments and tests to the facilitator. The facilitator then will comment, grade, and email those assignments and tests back. This will have a user-friendly interface and will discuss the following areas. Who the facilitator is, a tutorial of the website, resources, standards and policies, and a blog section. The website will also discuss the four main subjects of the ACT, English, reading, math, and science. The writing portion of the ACT will not be discussed in the course because it is optional on the test. Each of the four subjects is broken down into modules. There is a getting started, tips and hints, practice questions, lesson assignments, and review test module. Development The website was made using Dreamweaver following the design blueprint just mentioned. 
Content was gathered and organized in the website. Videos, visual aids, and graphics were made to align with the subject matter. I tested the website on all major web browsers to test for inaccuracies, plugin problems, and formatting issues. By troubleshooting, I was able to make the website faster, cleaner, and more informative for the user. I then received feedback from faculty at Emporia State before I made the appropriate adjustments and fixes. Implementation From April 8th through the 12th, 2013, I carried out a beta test of the ACT preparation website. I teamed up with Kansas Kids at Gear Up, who recruited eight students and provided me with a room at Topeka High. The beta test was both synchronous and asynchronous, as students had to meet at the same place at the same time every day after school, but were encouraged to do the assignments at home. Furthermore, students could browse the website on their own time and could work ahead if they needed to. By doing this, it allowed a structured time for class interaction, but gave the students the option to dig deeper into the website. By working ahead, on their own time, it also helped those students who had multiple obligations and couldn't make it to the workshop every day. During the week, students were introduced to the subject through the facilitator with the remainder of the time dedicated to going through the online course. Each student had a computer to work on which helped speed up the process. Evaluation Both formative and summative assessments were given to the students during the beta test. Formative assessments came from subject tests, observations, and surveys. Summative assessments were given through pre-tests, post-tests, and surveys. The ACT preparation course could ultimately be evaluated through students' performance on the ACT. However, because of time restraints, this was not done during the beta test. The Addy model really helped make this project a success. The ACT Preparation Online course could be used as a research tool as well. Think about it. All the formative and summative assessments could really help a school district collect data on what the student needs to improve upon, uh, what their strengths are, and how they might deal with test anxiety. I could even see this course being an accredited course for high school. The website could accommodate based on school needs as well. Some parts of the course could be modified to fit a much larger curriculum if needed. The website could be updated for more interactive learning or be changed to emphasize a certain subject. So thank you for this opportunity and I look forward to discussing how this course can be effective for your school district.